disaster at Sukma, the deadliest attack in seven years is a reminder of the Maoists' strength. Why India is failing again and again to address the issue of Naxalism and Maoists? What is the strategic approach to the Maoist problem by Government of India? What is the way forward? GS Paper 3, Linkages Between Development and Spread of Extremism What is the context about? The recent ambush of a Central Reserve Police Force Battalion in Chhattisgarh Sukhmar district, is a tragic reminder of the failure of the Indian state to effectively address the security challenge, the Maoists continue to pose. 25 CRPF personnel lost their lives, represents multiple failures at different levels. Why India is failing again and again to address the issue of Naxalism and Maoists. In the absence of any clear-cut guidelines or directions from the central government, every state government has been dealing with the problem as per its own assessment of the situation. There is no coherent strategy or plan. Absence of strategic clarity, over-dependence of states on central forces, have crippled the fight against Maoists. We mustn't forget Naxalism is a socio-economic problem. Due to lack of development large number of people chosen to be Naxalites. State police forces aren't fully trained to tackle Naxalites, lack of modern equipments like night vision cameras, sniper rifles, GPS etc. Naxalites have huge local support that are why they have survived so long. They have sympathizers in all sections of society and country. What is the strategic approach to the Maoist problem by Government of India? 14-point policy, 2006, sought to tackle Naxalism on security and development fronts. In 2009 the GOI has put a ban on the CPI, Maoist as well as its other formations under the Unlawful Activities, Prevention, Act, 1967. Unified command in the states of Chhattisgarh, West Bengal, Jharkhand and Odisha to carry out planned operations against extremists. Integrated Action Plan for Accelerated Development of Selected Tribal and Backward Districts by Providing Public Infrastructure and Services. States like Andhra Pradesh adopted rehabilitation programs for the Naxalites who surrendered to the state. Special financial assistance to LWE affected areas under various schemes regarding education, health, roads, etc. What is the way forward? The security forces efforts will, of course, have to be supplemented by appropriate socio-economic measures to address the legitimate grievances of the tribals and draw them into the mainstream. So, first of all we have to sit down and find out how to tackle this monster. There is clear lack of vision. Some say use army, air force to kill Naxalites while others say do development first because it's a socio-economic problem. There are many contradictions among experts itself.